Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Heretic, Shadow of the Serpent Riders, on a Black Plague difficulty for the PC playthrough GZ Doom. We are also doing all levels with a wand start, and this is episode 4, mission 3, Ambulatory. Now, what does Ambulatory mean? Because I know they're picking out the uh, thesaurus again. A place for walking, especially an aisle around the apse or cloister in a church or monastery. Now, with that definition defined, let's begin going through the ambulatory. So, you might notice this area here with all these time bombs of the ancients. Now, what you can do is just run past all these aisles here, kind of like in a lawnmower motion, because these crushers will lower. But you might notice something as we go through these uh, parts but just keep running through them and you'll get all the time bombs which might be useful for later I'm gonna get them all because you never know when you ne might need them anyways you might notice some of these parts have uh, darkened some of them haven't but they will when you get to them but yeah uh, this dark area is the place where the crushers aren't turned on. So it's a safe way through it. You might notice this flickering wall here, which you can open up to reveal the golems, which I'm going to use one of the time bombs on, because why not? More golems. Set a time bomb here. Get a wand crystal out of it. How about that? And some disciples of Sparrow. I'm going to play the hit scan Harry game on them. And yeah, they were guarding, uh, well this one was guarding Tome of Power, but get it quick, or try to, to shoot after this opens, cause yeah, yeah, there's three of these guys, <sighs> yeah, we might deal with them later, but for now, we're gonna go in here and get the Ethereal Crossbow. Now, here are three doors, all with the uh, locks. So, we'll have to get the yellow key first, because that's the order of Heretic. So, what we want to do is go through this area and uh, deal with these golems, or this one, rather. Or these two, even. Use a time bomb. Or not. Time it better. There we go. Now, you might notice this rather hellish looking area. With all these gargoyles. Thankfully, none of them are fire gargoyles. So, what you can do is Elven wand them. Maybe, maybe snipe them. And now that that's done, you can just hop down here because this platform will raise up. You might notice these uh, golems over here. They're not nitro golems, these ones aren't at least. But, when you get the uh, yellow key on this platform, you can also get the gauntlets of the necromancer. And we'll be back here soon. But in the meantime, just be very careful around walking around this way, because it's kind of hard to get back up. So, we can go back here. And finally open the yellow door, but watch out, there's an undead warrior here. Pardon the voice crack. Anyways. Pressing the switch will raise up one of the other platforms in the area. But first, we're finally going to deal with these iron liches so we don't have to deal with them later. Yeah. I'm going to tome up this uh, ethereal crossbow here just to deal with them faster. Or the Elven Wand also works. So you can play a hit scan Harry game with them. And the toned up Elven Wand does good enough damage. A little time consuming, but if you play the Hit Scan Harry game, you'll deal with these Iron Liches in no time. Watch out for the tornadoes though, because they keep firing them and they are still a bitch, and you don't have the Shadow Sphere at this point, so just lure this one here. 
Uh oh, we're out of one ammo. That's a rarity, huh? So we're just gonna play the peekaboo game with them. And as usual, watch out for the uh, goddamn tornadoes and the fires and the ice. Yeah, now that we're done with these guys, we don't have to deal with them later, so that's always a good thing to do. A little risky. You can probably do it when you encounter them. I'll show you when you can encounter them later on. But, uh, we're done with them. We can go back here in this hellish area. All the lava spouts and all these lifts here. There are walkways. So, deal with all the golems here. I'm going to use a time bomb. Get a good double kill out of it. And it'll save some ammo. At the cost of a time bomb, of course, but hey. In this area are some gargoyles, including fire gargoyles. Deal with them. Grab some crystal vials and the dragon claw, which is right behind these barrels. You might notice these raven symbols. We'll get to them later on. But pressing this switch will have lowered this area with the green key. And there are also plenty of egg sacks here, so what I'm going to do is just deal with them right now. Now you could use the egg sacks later, but, um, nah. There is a way you could lure an enemy down into this pit, um, but chances are you probably won't do that. Now stepping on to where the green key is lowers this lift, but instead of going to the lift, we're going to climb up this very steep stairway with uh, the disciple of the sparrow right here guarding a shadow sphere now if you don't want to deal with the iron liches the way i did you could probably get the shadow sphere from here and going up here is much of the same but it's this one is guarding a morphovum yeah watch out for those purple fuck strikes Anyways, I'm going to into the hurdy water to pick up some crystal vials and finally climb this uh, lift. Now, yeah, this is where the iron liches would popped out, which is why dealing with them in the secret was much more preferable, at least for me. Now, going down these hallways have uh, several pickups and several gargoyles, including fire gargoyles, and I believe it's much of the same here. So. I'm going to use the newly found dragon claw on them. We got two more foams out of it, but I am not going to use the other one, I think. But chances are you might get a uh, more foam from a lich, because they usually tend to drop them. But yeah, as you may have noticed, these areas will have opened up with uh, these golems. So going into it, we'll reveal a potential chance of getting the fire mace, which is always nice, but we can't really use the fire mace, at least on this fella here. Yeah, the Molotar. What you want to do is bait him out of this area, because it is very narrow. And we'll probably go back here later on, but first we can go here, because this area has opened up too. And there's also this uh, raven wall, which you can open up. But first I'm going to deal with these guys and get a bag of holding, which they were guarding. Nitro golems are there. But this is a secret area, which has um, mace spheres for the newly acquired fire mace, if you got it from where I got it. So just hope that you're lucky. <laughs> no, it's fine if you don't get the fire mace. Um, you could probably do this level without it, but hey, if you got it, you can use it. Don't be afraid to use it. Yeah, the Molotar, you want to get them out of that uh, very uh, cornered area. And you can get them into the pool. Now, you could probably save the uh, egg sacks for them, but I won't do that. I'm going to deal with him the hard way. Nah, it isn't that hard. But going to where the Molotar was is another secret area, and there are several Disciples of the Sparrow down here. So deal with them. 
or just save them for later. I'm gonna get the map scroll. I can use this newly acquired Morpho on them. Later, at least. Now, what I could probably do is go down and use the uh, Gauntlet of the Necromancer with the Tome of Power when I get it, because you probably will get it later on. But first, I'm going to uh, go to where the green door was. Finally use the green key. Another undead warrior is waiting here. Yeah, not a big surprise, but you can deal with him as long as you can dodge him. Go back down the uh, dark hallway with the crushers, and you'll see that a new area has raised up. So go through this narrow walkway, deal with the um, golems here, and use a time bomb, get some good multi kills, deal with the rest with the if you're a crossbow. And going down here, you'll see plenty of nitro golems and fire gargoyles here too, just for the heck of it. So, you'll want to go down to the right first to deal with these uh, gargoyles before we get to the nitro golems. Just watch out for them. You'll notice the blue keys up there, which we'll get very soon. But first, we have to go through uh, this area. And you might notice that um, the blue key, or rather this area, has lowered. We aren't getting the blue key just yet, but we are getting the hell staff, which will be quite useful. So yeah, now uh, the nitro golem area has lowered. And they've been hitting me a bit, so I'm going to use a quartz flask. And I'm going to use one of these more phones. I guarantee you'll probably get an extra Morphobum. Usually I don't use the uh, excess items that um, enemies drop on rare chances, but with Iron Liches, you, you probably will get a Morphobum. But if you don't, um, as long as you can dodge projectiles, you can uh, deal with them fairly well. Now pressing this button does not lower the yellow key just yet. Instead, it uh, hmm, it opens this area up, yeah, which has a Tome of Power, which is awesome. Now going through this area, which opened up when you step through uh, the area with the Tome of Power, will have the real switch, I believe, which finally lowers the blue key, finally. Now, we are done with most of this area, but I'm going to double check where the uh, golems were, because opening this door has an area here with more golems, more golems here, nitro golems in fact, fire gargoyle up here just taking pot shots at you from this invisible wall, and yeah, you can open this area too to go back to the uh, start. And yeah, going down here has a lift. And you can just open this up again. And you can also go back through here to deal with these um, golems. And of course, the Raven Wall opens up with uh, Disciple of the Sparrow right here. I'm going to use the Time Bombs on him. Get some good use out of them. Hit the Clawer before it gets crushed. And the Chaos Device is here too. And opening this raven wall has the fire gargoyles who were harassing us earlier from the uh, wall. And going here has the ring of invincibility, which is a great addition to our journey. So now we have the blue key, we can go through this area one more time. Now be ready for this one because it has a ghostly undead warrior. Ooh, ghost, scary. So this dodges projectiles, press the switch. And uh, that'll be the last lift we'll have to go to. Just go through this uh, crusher area. You'll be fine as long as you go through the dark area. Um, more golems, nitro golems in fact. Deal with them. Watch out for the ones behind you too. Ooh boy, yeah, yeah. You probably want to 
bait them through this door instead of what I did. But as long as you have Quartz Flask and you can use them on time, you'll be alright, hopefully. So yeah, you can hear the Disciples of Sparrow, who we alerted earlier from that secret. And we can also get the Phoenix Rod, but of course when we get the Phoenix Rod, this area will open up. So use that extra Morphobum on them, because there are more of them in this area. But not as many as the ones from the area with the uh, secret. Here. Some golems will open it up from these areas too. So deal with them. Make sure they don't uh, corner you or anything. But if they do, they have low health, so they're not too tough. These nitro golems will probably give you some trouble though, so deal with them. Wings of Wrath here in this hidey hole. Some more maze spheres. And uh, we haven't used the fire mace too much in this level. Hmm. But if you haven't got it, um, you don't need to use it too much. It's not necessary to complete the level, it's just a good touch if you are low on weapons. Anyways, going through this raven door, we'll have a uh, golem, nitro golem, I believe. And uh, this area will lower too with these gargoyles and fire gargoyles. So I'm gonna just fire mace them. Get this enchanted shield. Good bonus for dealing with them. Watch out for this nitro golem. Get this morph of them. Which we probably won't need. And uh, deal with this nitro golem. Grab the uh, ammo here greater runes and quiver of ethereal arrows and just walk around this maze. You can use the auto map. If you've got the map scroll, it'll tell you where to go. You might notice some extra places here, including this area. Pressing it will lower um, one of the bars to uh, the exit, and pressing this will lower the other one, or raise the other one. Yeah, raise it. Anyways, going through here has the exit, but you don't want to go through the exit just yet because this area opens up. I'm going to use this Morph Open on these two, because, or this one, I guess. Yeah, this uh, wall is on a timer, so you'll have to go through it quickly if you want to get this area. Now, you might notice in the auto map, um, this area is here. It has gargoyles and an iron lich. Probably one of the most harmless ones, because he's hiding behind here. So what you can do is just hit scan him to death. Oh, I guess he isn't as harmless as I thought, but we dealt with him. And I'm gonna turn on the Shadow Sphere so these tornadoes don't follow me. And I'm gonna pick up all the goodies in here. So this level gives you two rings of invincibility. Provided one isn't enough for you. You can just open this door back up and uh, we're finally gonna go back to this area to deal with the Molotar. And I'm gonna use the Ring of Invincibility on him. Or maybe not. Yeah, I am. Because I don't want to get hurt by the hurry water. In fact, I'm going to use the Toma Power on the gauntlets. Do the old, the old trick. Even though I'm invincible, it doesn't last too long. So, I'll need this Life Leech to survive the hurry water and the Molotar. So yeah, we have... Uh, with this, we'll have gauntlet and three Molotars. We can probably use the other Ring of Invincibility, provided we have it. In fact, I'm going to do that right now, just to do some overkill. There we go. And I'm going to use the Wings of Wrath to get back up. Just to save some time, you know? Now, we have all the kills, all the secrets. I don't know if we got all the items, but to me, it doesn't matter as much. But we are done with Ambulatory. We did get all the items. Nice. Well, that's a fun, if not somewhat lengthy level. Um, good placements of enemies. Good ways to deal with them. Uh, as long as you do this strat, or these strats, with the Molotar being baited out, and uh, using 
whatever items you get, um, you'll be fine. But now that we're done with the ambulatory, we're going to the sepulchre, which we will do in the next video. So until then, toodaloo.